So tomorrow we will be resuming the negotiations after almost uh, eight uh, weeks. Mm -hmm. And that was the, by far the longest uh, break that, uh, that we've had or the longest suspension. Mm -hmm. As you remember, we had uh, dinner uh, uh, last Sunday. But this is really the formal resumption of talks. And uh, I, I just had a, a, a very constructive meeting with Mr. Akinci. In a few minutes, I will be talking to Mr. Anastasiades, who is in Madrid. So we'll talk on the phone. And what I'm discussing with the two leaders today is I'm listening to their expectations for tomorrow. Uh, and I'm trying to uh, make sure that we get the most uh, optimal restart uh, possible and that out of tomorrow can come a clear idea of how we structure the coming weeks uh, so that we uh, we really focus on what is most important and that we really find a way which both leaders are comfortable with um, and which is shared in order to get everything on the table and see how we can bridge the outstanding issues. Um, I will do what I can with my team to be helpful, but my mandate has not changed. This remains a leader-led process. And I have to reiterate that even if I say it every time, I, <laughs> I frequently read that I uh, want to arbitrate. I definitely do not want uh, arbitration. The leaders don't want arbitration. The Secretary General of the UN does not want arbitration. This process shall be sold, if it will be sold, by Cypriots uh, under a leader-led process. But the, the manner in which I can be helpful is something I will ask them. And how do they want? us to uh, organize our support for them in the, in the coming weeks. We lost a lot of time. Um, uh, I think a lot of trust has been lost, and I want to be open about that, that uh, uh, while the leaders can re rebuild uh, what they lost, uh, both communities have been starting to ask uh, even more serious questions about the credibility of this process. And I think it's a responsibility of the leaders to invest again in building that intercommunal trust that is necessary because we are discussing a series of practical issues about constitutional matters, property matters, security matters. But at the end of the day, the two communities have to want to reunite and have to want to live together. And this is a responsibility for the leaders first and foremost, but also for other actors in society. Um, and uh, it's a very good thing that we will have this meeting tomorrow. I know from my conversations over the last week that they are very much motivated for coming back. They, are, they appreciate the fact that uh, conditions are such that we can again meet. Um, but that does not guarantee an effective outcome. This is just a start. And, um, and I think that given that in the um, many months that we have had before this crisis, uh, basically all arguments were made and all positions were put on the table, this is really a time to wrap up and to really invest in seeing how these outstanding issues can be, can be bridged. I remain um, confident that it's possible. Uh, but we need not only the opportunity, we also need the will. And we will see in the coming days to which extent that is available. Okay, as far as we can understand from your work that uh, a modality changing is coming uh, in the following days, so which you mentioned earlier, because this modality brought us here, so we need to change it, you said. What kind of a change we have what, to expect? What, what, what I am saying is that the modalities we used for all these months was helpful. It brought us here uh, as... The leaders have said, as I have said, and many others have said, yeah, is that we, we, they came further than any pair of leaders before them. I mean, what already on the table is beyond what has happened any time before in the long history of Cyprus talks. But when you come to the end game, which we actually launched when we came to Geneva, uh, you have to find a way to really pack together all these issues in such a way that you can, you can find uh, an overall settlement. And this is, the, uh, this is what the leaders need to do tomorrow. I cannot do anything beyond what they want me to do. So I will, I will expect uh, them uh, to decide how they want to uh, lead this in the coming weeks. And I'm really thinking of weeks more than many months now. Okay, and another question about the hydrocarbon resources around the island. While you were making this statement that two leaders are going to be back on the table, the Greek uh, government must uh, sign another deal with the international companies to start digging in the Mediterranean. So uh, last time they made it, it cost uh, eight months um, for the negotiations. So what do you think about I, that? I, I, I actually don't, uh, I, I don't want to have any comments on these issues. I'm right, right now I'm focusing on the 
on the talks themselves. Uh, if we are successful in the talks, these, uh, we know that uh, these resources will be shared, and this is already an established uh, parameter of the talks. And any, any comments on issues beyond that is something I don't want to do right now, because I focus on having a, a good start tomorrow. Okay, thank you very much. All right. Thank you.